Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis and let's talk about not being advertiser friendly. Now many other big YouTubers have covered this topic about how YouTube is kind of afraid to put ads against videos that might not be advertiser friendly. Which makes sense. Advertisers, for good reason, don't want their ads to run alongside videos of graphic, horrific imagery or swearing. They want family friendly content. And because there is so much YouTube content uploaded to the site every minute, YouTube decided to step up and add an algorithm which automatically flags possibly non-advertiser friendly videos. And like I said, there are many big YouTubers that have already talked about the nitty gritty of what happened, but suffice it to say, it's not going over great for the average YouTube creator. Hundreds and thousands of videos that are advertiser friendly are being flagged by this automatic algorithm and not telling the creator that this flagging is happening. So what happens is a video becomes demonetized, the creator isn't getting anything on this video or very, very little because of a misunderstanding from the algorithm. The algorithm thinks that the video content is bad and so the content creator doesn't get anything for it, which is bad. Casey Neistat recently put out a very good video about the steps that YouTube could take in order to protect their creators from, you know, automatically being flagged and not being told that they're being flagged? Where if a content creator has X number of subscribers and no infractions, if an infraction were to happen with this automatic algorithm, maybe have an actual person check on the video before the video is demonetized. Because if a content creator has a great track record of constantly putting out advertiser friendly content and then they get a weird automatic infraction, that's worth an actual person looking at the video just to make sure. So why did I decide to make this the topic of today's video? Well, it's because it's something that I've been dealing with for the past couple weeks. My videos have automatically been flagged by the algorithm. A few weeks ago, I started noticing a weird trend with my videos. It was kind of a toss up on if I would wake up the next morning and have my video flagged or not. A lot of you are well aware of the type of content that I produce, talking to a camera about something that in interests me, a nerdy topic like Doctor Who, or Star Wars, or Doctor Who, or comic books, or Doctor Who. Very rarely do I even put anything copyright in my video, except for Thursday and Friday when I talked about specific images. I am just talking to a camera. This is the entire video, my face talking at your face. But then last week on Monday, I posted that video, went to bed, woke up on Tuesday, and found out that my video had been flagged again. Posted Tuesday's video, went to bed, woke up on Wednesday, and saw that my video had been flagged again. Posted Wednesday's video, went to bed, woke up on Thursday, and saw that, do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see the pattern that is emerging? I am literally just a guy talking to a camera about the things in the nerdy entertainment industry that I am excited about. Doctor Who, Star Wars, comic books, all of the stuff. It's pretty advertiser friendly, don't you think? And every single time I request a manual review within a day or so, that video is back to being monetized. But there's a window of a few thousand views for some of these videos where I'm not getting anything for the video. Which from a business standpoint doesn't make any sense for YouTube because they're not getting anything on the video as well. There are no ads on the video for that time, so YouTube isn't making any money during that time. And a lot of my videos get most of their views within the first two or three days. And so having that big chunk not having any ads on it doesn't make sense for YouTube, I'm not getting anything for those views, and it's, it's pretty discouraging knowing that there's not an actual person looking at the video before that video is automatically demonetized. YouTube has said that this is a learning curve, that this isn't the final stage, this is not its final form, but there's a point where maybe it's just overreaching a bit too far. We went through Adpocalypse 2.0 recently. I get it, I understand that YouTube does not want to lose any more advertisers. But on the other side of the coin, this is a way for YouTube to push away these creators that care deeply about this site, who have audiences on this site, who want some sort of 
monetary contribution for the content that they put out, which is understandable as a creator. Now, YouTube is not my primary source of income, so if none of my videos were monetized, I could still pay rent. It's more of an annoyance than anything. It's not detrimental to my way of life, but for other creators, this is their lifeblood. YouTube has said that there's this much content added to the site every day, every minute, every second. We get it, YouTube. There's a lot of people posting content to YouTube. But like Casey Neistat said in his video, maybe if a person has X number of subscribers before flagging that video, if they've never ever had any sort of infraction, maybe just you know, put an actual person in front of the video before taking away that person's source of income. Like I said, for me, it's more so an annoyance at this point. Every morning I need to wake up and re-monetize my video that was demonetized overnight. It's just, it's frustrating. I feel like I shouldn't have to go through that hassle of posting something, having something taken away, having a window where I'm not getting anything for that window duration, and then having to reinstate this thing that shouldn't have been taken away in the first place. <sighs> It's exhausting. In the comments down below, let me know if you have ever had or have heard of similar situations to mine, where I'm just posting videos of completely legitimate, advertiser-friendly content, and the, uh, you know, they're marked as not advertiser-friendly. <sighs> frustrating. But as always, my name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say. I'm probably going to have to re-monetize this video in the morning and you will see me tomorrow. 